Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at exponents with different bases today. We will talk about multiplying with different bases, and we're basically just going to be doing a whole lot of practice today. So let's look at different bases. The base number when you're um, writing an exponent is the number that's on the bottom. So if I had a times b times c, remember with with variables you just write them next to each other so this is the basics of what we're going to be doing today we're going to be joining together and simplifying from an expanded form down to exponent form so I'm going to show you how that works with exponents in our next slide this is basically how it would work if I had a squared times b squared or b to the power 3 b cubed times c squared I could expand that out to look like this, a times a, b times b times b, c times c, all right? And because they're all multiplied, you can write it out like this. Now this is the expanded form. So to rewrite it in exponential form, I would simply write it as a squared b cubed c squared. Notice I've gotten rid of those multiplication dots in the middle there. I've made this just more simple. Because just like in our previous on the previous slide where it showed a times b times c is written as abc, it's the same thing with exponents. So exponents when they have different bases like this, we keep the bases separate and the exponents as um, a unit. All right. So the one mistake that is very common is that people will join them together and write ABC to the power of and then add up the numbers ABC to the power of 7, which is not the same as this. All right. This is A squared, B cubed, C squared. And that's the way we'd say it, and this is the way that we would write it. It's important to not join together different bases. So we're going to practice a little bit. First off, let's practice with something that's a little bit easier. Z times Z times Z. Go ahead and write that as an exponent. Pause the video, try that out. How would you write that as an exponent? Hey, you're back. Hopefully you did that. What's Z times Z times Z? That's Z to the power of 3. Perfect. So this is z times z times z written as an exponent. So it has an exponent. z is our base. 3 is the exponent. A z3. Oh, BMW Z3. I dreamed of owning one of those once. I was like 15 at the time. Anyway, now let's look at another one. r times r times s. Write that one as an exponent. Write that one as an exponent. Remember to keep the, the bases and exponents kind of separate. Go ahead and pause the video and try that one out. Hey, welcome back. Did you get r squared s? That's what it should look like. So we keep the r's, r and r with the power of 2, and s is afterwards. Usually when you're writing variables, you write them in alphabetical order. So I've gone ahead and followed that convention for this video. But there it is. That's how we would write this out. Notice it is not rs squared or rs to the power of 3. It's just keeping r to the power of 2 and s separate. So now thinking about that, I want you to expand this exponent from exponent form into expanded form. What would this look like when you expand it back out? Basically the backwards of what we've been doing. Go for it. Hey, welcome back. Your notebook is getting filled up because it should look like this, right? There's lots of them now. T times T times T times U times U times U times U. It fills up a lot of space. Notice expanded form definitely takes up a lot more space than an exponential form. Let's try another one with expanded form. L to the power of 3 M N. Go ahead and write that in expanded form. Whoops, L times L times L, that's L to the power of 3, times M times N. Usually you don't use the letter L for a variable unless you're talking about length because it looks an awful lot like the number 1. But um, typically you wouldn't use it, but we did anyway. So that is the basics of exponential form and expanded form. A um, little bit more practice, go ahead and um, try another one from expanded form into exponent form. Okay, 
x times x would be x squared, y times y is y squared, z times z is z squared. So it should be x squared, y squared, z squared. That is how you would write this from expanded form down to exponential form. All right. Notice again, I want to emphasize the biggest mistake people make is to write x, y, z to the power of 6. Um, that is not the same thing. You need to keep each base separated. Otherwise, you will not get the correct answer. All right. I've got one more question for you to do. I want you to go ahead and expand this exponent. Um, pause the video. Write that one down in your notebooks. Hey, are you back? Ready to see the solution in this video? Oh, look at the time. I think I'm going to have to end the video. Yeah, right. Like I want to write that out. Hopefully you didn't actually do that in your notebook. If you did, wow. Props to you. 5,000 bonus points for you. You can go um, redeem those with whoever your math teacher is. Okay. That's actually everything for today. Just remember to practice, practice, practice. And here are some other videos and playlists about math stuff that you might find interesting. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a wonderful day.